welcome to OnlineGroomingSchool.com. My name's Brianna. And Lexi's trying to say hi to you here. Lexi, sit. In this video, we're going to talk about and show you how to groom a German Shepherd. Now, the German Shepherd here is Lexi. So she's a little talkative today. So we're going to show you how to um, get the prep work done on her and what is necessary for a German Shepherd. Now, this video is very similar to the hygiene video, but what we're going to teach you how it very applies to um, a lot of smooth coats, a lot of flat coats like chihuahuas, like pugs, but also like double-coated dogs, like a collie, like a sheet lint, like a chow. So we'll show you how to get that undercoat and come out and get double coated. So let's get started, and we're going to show you first. We're going to clean her ears, and then we're going to check her nails. Shepherds do not have it, hair in their ears to be removed or plucked. So you're just going to use your cotton balls to clean them. Pretty much they're the, they are a shedding dog. And yes, they shed. So they don't have they hair that their grows in their ears. So I'm going to grab the ear. Use your cotton ball. You don't want to sh shove it too far in the ear. You just kind of want to put the cotton ball in and just kind of talk to them and rub their ear a little bit. Sometimes they really like it. We'll put their head down and really massage it. So you tell that it's really, they were dirty. There you go, we'll do the next year. Stay there. Stay there, good girl. Oh yeah, shake it out. We'll do the other ear now. Shine, there you go. Now it's not, not a good idea to use Q-tips because a Q-tip can um, puncture the eardrum a little bit. So she's a little dirty too. I'm going to check her nails. Lexi, sit. Sit. Good girl. Shake a paw. Good girl. So you have the nails. All her nails are black. Good girl. Now she's going to be standing here. And when the nail doesn't touch the table, that's a good sign that the nails do not need to be trimmed. But you can also pick up the nail and take a look to see if you see the quip, which when you, when you watch the hygiene video, we show you how to clip black nails. So I'll show you one on her right now. Lexi, sit. Sit. Sit, good girl. Sit. Lexi, good girl. She's a little hyper dog, huh? She's a little hyper, yeah. Lexi, it's okay. It's okay, girl. It's okay. Good, Good girl. girl. So on what happens, um, a lot of dogs, when they first come on your to your table, they are a little hyper, a little anxious. So after the bathing process, they usually calm down a lot. So even though she's hyper right now, she probably will be a lot calmer once she's in the bathtub and into the dry room. Let's take a look at her nails. Now the way you can do this is flipping her paw upside down. You can put your arm underneath her to give her a little bit of support here. And just taking your nail clippers and just tipping the ends to see if you can find the quick at all. Now her nails are pretty short, so you're not going to take them too much because you don't want to make them bleed. Now her long, the front nails will be a little bit longer than the back nails. Because they use their back nails to kind of take off when they're on walks on cement. So they kind of file that themselves down. Now again, that is 
leash that on a dog. Um, but you can also, if they don't want that, you can also give them a normal bath with normal shampoo, um, with all purpose. Um, I recommend not using conditioner. If you, if, you, if you wish to, you can, but what conditioner does, it kind of coats the hair, so it takes the process of drying a lot longer. Yeah, it gives a little bit more shine, but especially under Miss Shepherds, it's recommended no conditioner, and you can mist them after they're dry with a little bit of mink oil or a little bit of leave-in conditioner, but we'll show you that. So we're gonna stand up here, girl. Now, these dogs here do not get sandy trims. They do not get their, their bottom under here. They don't get this shaved, their belly in here. And they do not get their paw pads shaved at all because they do shed. And what, and what other dogs are the same that are... Uh, similar to this? Yeah, similar to the German Shepherd. <laughs> Boy, she's talkative. She's talkative and kissy and hyper. Um, uh, like a Husky, a Collie, a Sheetland, a Chow, a Golden Retriever, they're all double coated. So basically you want to get the undercoat loosened up. I see. And then do you check her body for any... You can, you can do an overall exam um, to make sure that no new lumps or growths have appeared. Um, you can try to see if you can feel some ticks, but because their hair is so long, you really can't see anything um, that tiny, like fleas, until you're blow drying and the hair is getting separated from the skin. You can really see the fleas if there's any. Well, so when you're blow drying as the hair is moving around and you can see the skin, you can see if there's any ticks or fleas. Exactly. Oh, wow. Okay. So now I, we have a rake here. What the rake is um, designed for is to really break up the undercoat, the, the, the coat underneath, and basically loose, loosens it up and also kind of gets rid of it a little bit. So it kind of takes a lot of the shedding from the drying process. So you, just, you don't press too hard, you just kind of put it all over the body lightly. Lexi, it's okay, sit. We're just gonna kind of lightly go over to kind of make sure anything's light. Now, German Shepherds are known for getting hip dysplasia when they get older. Um, it's just a breed thing for them. Basically what happens is their hips kind of go into, um, inwards a little bit and they really get bad hips. Almost like, almost like um, arthritis. Mm. So if you do know a German Shepherd, you really want to keep them on any kind of um, vitamins, supplements, anything that kind of strengthen their bones and joints, just so that you don't have the early process of it at all in the dog. Mm -hmm. Girl, yeah. Enough. She doesn't have too much of an undercoat, just a little bit here. Now, can you explain to us what's an undercoat in plain English? For as simple as possible, it's yes. their winter coat. Her winter, their winter coat. coat. So they have two coats. Yeah, so basically two coats. They have an undercoat that's almost like a cotton-like form that you don't really see too much. Cotton-like, and then you have so then the fur. So when you fur. start seeing dogs shed around winter time, it kind of comes out. It kind of looks like cotton balls a little bit compared to their straight hair that's on their body. Okay. So here we go. We're almost ready for the bathtub now. Here. There we go. So we didn't get that much off right now, but you, uh, depending on each. Each breed, each one that you're doing, you might get more out, like a like a husky. You're gonna get a lot more than a German Shepherd, um, because huskies have a lot more hair. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's okay. It's and then okay. the teeth, obviously, you. Yeah, you know, you can check, you can check the teeth. Sit, Lexi, sit, sit, sit. Go for all. So we take a look at her mouth. She has a little, a little bit, a, a little bit of built-up tartar. Hey. It's okay. Wow. So, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take Lexi into the bathtub. Um, on her, nothing specific, no hype was needed. So we're just gonna do like an all-purpose shampoo. Um, very, very little conditioner, just to coat the top of her hair. Um, but after that, we'll go down to the dryer and show you really how to brush that, that double coat out and how to dry it properly by hand. Now, on these guys, you really want to do a lot of hand drying, like at least 85% hand dry. Now, if you wish, um, you, you could do the cage dry to fluff it out, kind of get the undercoat really fluffed out a lot better. Um, but it's very important to use a lot of hand drying uh, techniques to this. And then after, we'll show you how to mist the dog with the mink oil or leave-in conditioner, whatever you have in your shop, we have both. And then how to do the finishing work, like a bandana or a bow or something. 
So we'll see you in a bit. Now she says she jumps off the tub. So. Okay. That's how we're going to the tub, and we'll give her a Here we go into the tub. Here's the tub. Here, Lexi, into the tub. Good. Oh. <laughs> there you go. You underestimated the jump a little bit. Here okay, Bree, so you're going to bathe her and we'll come back as you're drying her then and just show. Sounds like a plan. See so, in a little bit. So people can watch the pet hygiene video to learn how to bathe them. Learn how to bathe her, yes. Right. Okay, dokie. Wing. Okay. Here we go. Here's brush which is right here and you're really going to be brushing against the grain which is the opposite way the hair grows so we're going to be growing this way because you really want to get this undercoat if you zoom in here you can see the undercoat which like I said earlier is kind of like a cotton like very soft hair in here now that's it and it's about halfway length of the actual hair and then on top you don't see it the soft the soft hair underneath but the top hair which is almost like a wire coat that's the normal coat there we go. So now we're going to get our dryer here, and I'll show you the process of which I go. Um, so I'm going to do it against the grain with my slicker brush. dryer was going you probably couldn't hear what I was saying so basically what I was doing is um, with the vac with, with the dryer going against the grain with the hair basically going up so that I'm able to get underneath the hair and fluff it up so I can get very very specific to the undercoat and then right for five more minutes it would have been dry, I'd go on top and i kind of just dry it on top by hand to make it nice and soft so it's nice and mm. full coat. So you kind of dry the undercoat first, then you go on yeah. top, dry the uh, uh, you, above coat. Yeah, now and if you take her and throw her in a cage dryer from pretty much right from the bathtub, she'll take a couple hours to dry. So that's why it's very important to dry with by hand so that you're able to get under here and get that undercoat that's underneath And plus you get all that dead hair out of there and all and dandruff, that. dandruff, you can kind of get everything loose. And yeah. it basically lets you see, like I said earlier, see if you can see the fleas because you're in the blow dryer, you're pushing it away from the skin. Now with the sucker brush, mm -hmm. as you're blow drying, do you take the sucker brush up Push or against, down? Against, the against the grain. Against the grain. Yeah, so that you can, oh. you can actually fluff up. Cool. And then you can light. Lightly skim over so that you can kind of get that volume which you see right here. Okay, very good, Brianne. Go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now, Lexi is pretty much done here. Okay. We are going to put, if you have, um, you can put mink oil on her, if you like mink oil. Um, if you like leave-in conditioner, you can do leave-in conditioner. Um, I'm going to put a little mink oil on her. Now, if you, if you have talked to the customer, if they do let fragrance on the dog, mink oil does have a soft fragrance, so let the customers be aware that she will smell nice. So you kind of want to twist her head lightly, get her in the face a little bit, on her muzzle. That's what the first thing the, do the owners get in the face. And then kind of lightly. Oh, so you want the face to smell good. <laughs> yeah, most important, because they're all up in the owner's face. So you want your job to look really nice. And then kind of give it an overall nice slicker brush finish to kind of 
make a coat very shiny with the mink oil. And the mink oil conditions the skin, um, so it kind of moisturizes the skin and also moisturizes the hair a little bit. There you go. You can put a little bit of conditioner on, I mean, um, cologne on. We're putting coconut on her right now. And you can put a cute little bandana. Mm hmm. Okay, Lex. Here um, you go, Lexi. That's the final touches. Now she gets to go touch. home. Now she can get go to go home. There you go. Now, if you find anything on her, just let the customer be aware. Hey, yeah, that's a nice little thing. bandana here for her, huh? There you go. Okay, well, great. So there, that's how you can groom a German Shepherd. Now, I recommend watching this three times, um, along with the hygiene video also. So, thank you for watching, and say goodbye to Lexi. Well, thank you, Brianne. And Lexi, say woof. Goodbye, Lexi. <laughs>